Welcome back aliens this is Navin Reddy from Telescope Learnings and in this video we'll talk about XML introduction. So as we have seen in the theory why we require XML so let me just recap what we have done. So when we talk about XML so we use this uh, terminology XML basically stands for extensible so it is extensible markup language I guess that's the full form of XML. Uh, so when we talk about XML, why we require XML? So let's say we want to send some data from server to client. So whenever you have a, a website, so let's say we have a client machine here and then we have a server machine. Okay, so we have two machines. When you want to send data from the server to client, what we use? So basically we use HTML page, right? So what you see on the browser, you get is you, what you get is an HTML page. So this thing here, client sends a request to the server, server returns a HTML page. So this HTML page will be passed by your browser, right? So you can see some text. So example, if I go to a website, let's say if I go to maybe a website like Wikipedia. So if I go to Wikipedia, okay, so I'm getting this page. So I'm, so I'm getting this page here. And if I right click and if I go to view source, so that's the source code which I'm getting from the server to the client machine, right? And then this is converted in the format of a page. So we have all these tags which, get, which, which gets converted into the page, right? So, uh, so we send HTML page. The other way of sending data is, let's say you don't want to show the whole page because this HTML page will have two things, the layout comma, uh, data right so we have two things in HTML the layout how it should look like and the actual data but let's say I don't want to send the layout I just want to send the data so we can use something called as XML to send that data so XML will be used to send data from server to client okay so we can also send data from client to server that's not the issue so uh, a server can send HTML or XML. In fact, we now we have a new format where you where we we used to send data is JSON, right? Uh, JSON stands for JSP Object JavaScript Object Notation. So yeah, we have multiple ways of receiving data, right? So XML is one of the way you can send data from server to client. So that's the one that's one use of XML. So we use XML to transfer data. Now the second use of XML is to configure the server or to configure the uh, software. Example in in Java or if in, in, in for that matter if, if you talk about any language to configure your to configure your server to configure your framework we use XML. In fact in Android to design the page we use XML. Uh, in Spring framework to specify the object dependencies we use uh, XML. So XML is used to configure the framework and it also used to transfer data. So it is important to know about XML. Uh, maybe you're not the master of XML, but you should know the basics of XML. So in this video, we'll talk about the basics. So to understand uh, basics, let's create an XML file. So we'll go, for, go to others and we'll search for XML uh, file here. We'll click on next. And we'll name this file as let's say alien because this file will maintain all the names of alien. So we'll say aliens.xml. So that's the XML name here. Uh, so whenever you write XML file, this is the first thing you have to write on the top. We have question mark XML which specifies that the file you're working with is, is of XML. This is the version which is 1.0 version of XML and the encoding format because this XML will be passed by XML parser. So we have a concept of something called as XML, XML parser, which converts your, which understand the XML format you have written here. Okay. Now what next? So whenever you work with XML parser, we have to mention, uh, to, to create the XML, let's say I want to send a data, or what's that? Let's say I want to send a data from server to client. Okay. So the, the data is, let's say 3000. But what is this 3000? It may be points, it may be salary, it may be some, uh, it can be anything, right? It, it, it can be a rank. So this 3000 can be anything. So we have to be very specific what this 3000 actually means. So we'll say this 3000 is points. 
okay we can say uh, may not be points but this, let's say this 3000 salary so we have salary open and salary closed so just to mention what type of data you are working with we specify tags right so this 3000 is a salary but what a salary of whom then we can mention this is a salary of an alien so that's the so this alien becomes a parent child to the child to the uh, parent not child it's a parent so this alien is a parent for a child salary so this is an element alien element and this is your salary element okay so now salary is a part of aliens but how many aliens we can have so we can have multiple aliens right and every alien will have a unique name so let's say this is we'll, we'll specify one more tag here as name and we'll say this is Naveen so that's my name we can create one more alien here uh, with the same attribute so we can say name equal to let's say Manoj and we can specify the salary here as salary I uh, will say this is 5000 okay so we have Naveen 3000 Manoj 5000 and you can see we got an error now thing, the thing is whenever you work with XML we have to follow some rules so the so there are certain rules to fo to follow in XML. So we have the first rule as whenever you work with XML, uh, so in in every XML there should be one root tag. Okay, there should be specifically one root tag. Second, uh, XML is case sensitive. It is case sensitive, and every opening tag needs a closing tag okay so these are the rules we have to follow follow in xml okay so now so if i go here if i say so what are the rules we are missing first is one root tag so we don't have one root tag here so we have aliens aliens we have two two tags here but not a root tag so we'll say all this alien belongs to one aliens so this aliens becomes your root tag now okay we can also format this so we say source format so you can see it, it, it looks in a proper format now so that's the format of xml so now you can see we have two xml if i right click and if i say validate so there's no problem uh, there's a warning but no problem so it's okay so we got the xml so that's how your xml should look like so if I open this XML with the external browser, so let's say if I open this with a parser, so every browser has an inbuilt parser, we'll say, okay, we'll say open with, oh, not default editor, but open with uh, others. We'll, we'll open this with Chrome. I guess it should work with Chrome. Oh, there's no option of Chrome. So we let's me open, let me open with Firefox. Oh, Chrome is here, Google Chrome, if I open, okay, so that's the XML format we have, so we, you know, it detects which tag is inside which tag, so you can see inside alien we have name, so it, it means it is able to pass it, example, if I remove this alien, so we are, we are breaking some rules, right, and if I refresh now, so you can see it shows some error here, it's not able to render, okay, so that's why we have to provide this alien tag there, and if I refresh, so it, it is able to render it. Now question arise, how to, uh, so let's say I want to specify some rules because we have not specified any rule right here. What's the difference between these two elements? Maybe these two elements have the same uh, same data. So let's say if, if, if this data is also Naveen, so if I make it Naveen here, so we can have two person with the same name, right? And coincidentally, if they have the same uh, salary, so is it both are same? No, right, both are different. So let's say this is Naveen Reddy and this is Naveen Bansal. So we have two different Naveens, right? So just to differentiate between these two, we have to use an ID. So we'll say this is alien ID and we can specify this alien ID as, as for, my, for my ID, I'm mentioning it as uh, A1, that is alien one. And for this second ID, which is Naveen Bansal, we have alien two. Okay, so we have, we have two aliens. We have two different IDs, right? So yeah, so now, so we can have this, uh, so we can have something unique. So this is called as attribute. So this is element and this thing here is an attribute. Even this is an attribute. Okay, and every attribute needs a value and this value should be in double quotes. Example, if I remove these double quotes and if I, so you can see we got, we got an error. 
so that is one rule you can you can specify here that every value every attribute value should be in, inside double quotes so we can say every attribute value should be inside a double quote or not double quote maybe but you can also have a single quote even that will do so you can maybe double quote or single quote so we can mention here single quote even that will work okay now let's say uh, for every so for every xml we have two things so whenever you work with xml to to work with parser we have to specify something called as grammar now this grammar can be of two types the first type of grammar it can be structure grammar and it can be a content grammar so structure grammar deals with the layout of the xml example inside aliens we have alien inside alien we have name so that's your structure grammar the second one is content grammar which deals with the data example we have Naveen here we have 3000 so this is your data right so let me just go back to Naveen and let's say this is Manoj so that's Manoj and we, let's specify it as 5000 okay so we have this value a1 and a2 so we have to first specify the structure now how to uh, configure the structure that we'll see in the next video because to to format the structure we have to use something called DD and to format the content we have to use schema so we'll, we'll be working with three videos here so the, in this first video we have talked about the introduction in the next video we'll talk about how to configure DDD to create a structure and then later we'll talk about schema so yeah that's it from this video uh, if you have any questions do comment and thanks so much for watching